All right, so for this project, I start out with a small sketch, and these are the hand tools that I got from my grandpa. His favorite wood was maple, so we're going to use maple in this project. All right, so here I am just milling up all the uh, material for this project. You can see I'm using um, 45s and using my crosscut sled to make it easier, jointing all the edges, making it all nice and straight. Here I am putting the uh, cross brace in. That's gonna be the divider in between the chisels and the um, shadow box portion. Just doing a dry fit, making sure everything fits. All right, so I got my chisels from my grandpa here and I was gonna use walnut and I started drilling the holes and I marked them out and I decided that I want to use some uh, some of this wood here, the, uh, what is it, paddock, paddock, put oak, paduk whatever you want to call it. And I think that would look better with what I plan on doing with the back with the um, US Marine Corps, more of a red thing, and this is more of a red color. So that's what I'm gonna do this for. Put them up and then do some back lighting or up lighting, down lighting, whatever. And just set those on the ground like that. So I need, I need four one inch holes, I need 10 seven eighths inch holes, and four of the three quarter inch holes. So here I am just laying out all the drill holes and then cutting it down to the size that will fit in the shadow box. So off camera I did a little bit of carving first time ever and it's a little sloppy but I was pretty pleased with the way it turned out. And I'm here I am just sanding everything making it look good. For the finish I'm using some Waterlocks Original. Uh, I really like this product. Uh, I got it from Woodcraft and they came with, or it didn't come with, I bought the, uh, the saver bags they got there. I really enjoy working with those so far. All right, glue up time. This makes me nervous every time. So you'll see here, I'm kind of working frantically making sure I get all these things. Um, if you guys got a better idea of how I could have done this better and more time saver, let me know in the comments below. So here he is, my grandpa. He was uh, in the Korean conflict, 1952. So here I just did uh, some picture frames with the uh, 45s and then I'm adding uh, splines into this. And I also added the splines into the, um, the shadow box portion as well. And it was kind of tricky to get this thing going, but once I got it in there, I felt confident and uh, let it rip. All right, I'm using the Paduk to make the splines, and I think that will just tie everything in really well. All right, so here I cut a uh, piece of Paduk and I had put a nice little um, router edge on it and just framing out the USMC there. Um, I didn't take any measurements. I just went by the eyeball and kind of worked its way down in there and it worked out really nice. All right, time to add the back. So I add a quarter inch rabbit all around all the edges and then I cut the plywood to fit. All right, to cover this backing here, I'm gonna use a, a technique called flocking. Um, what I'm doing is kind of tracing around the stuff that I don't really wanna put the flocking on because this stuff is kind of expensive. Um, I didn't wanna overuse it. So here I am just painting out the whole things with the Flocket brand um, paint and you want to saturate it really well. Make sure the, the plywood below it is um, completely sealed before you do this and then just cover it. Um, from what I've seen is you can't overdo it on this part because it will just uh, knock off and come back on. And here we are just doing the final sanding on everything and getting it ready for the water locks.
Here I am just putting in one little strip of the uh, LED lights. Um, I think it just turned out really well. Just a minimal amount.